The cult classic The Prisoner featuring Patrick McGowan was released between 1967 and 1968. McGowan plays the mysterious number six, a man whose identity, whilst briefly touched on, remains one of the greatest mysteries in the show. Number six awakes to find himself trapped in a mysterious place called the village, being observed by number two, a role fulfilled by men and women who always try and break him using a variety of different methods, both physical and mental. The only person speculated to be above number two is number one. But many people were left asking the question, who actually is number one? It is my speculation that upon re-watching the series I've discovered the true identity of number one based upon one tiny shred of evidence located at the end of the final episode, Fallout. Whilst in Fallout, number six is introduced to a man who is supposed to be number one, who is identical to himself, I personally believe that this is a lie. The reasoning behind this is simple. This fake number one lacks rationality, and due to the nature of the series, I believe that this number one is just one more method being employed to break number six's mind. I believe that the true number one is the butler. It's the end of the series. Number six has escaped with him and the kid, number eight from Living in Harmony, and the episode subtly ends with one little moment. Number six and the butler both walk to Buckingham Place, which appears to be number six's old house, and we see the butler enter as six goes on his way, with the subtle number one on the door closing after him, which closes and opens in the same robotic style of the village. Throughout the series, the butler, played by Angelo Muscat, a mysterious man who has no number, acts in the background. His allegiance through the show remains unclear, and his motives are shadowed. Whilst this is not definitive evidence, in such a clever and well-structured show, I believe that this is an intentional nod to the fact that he really is number one.